In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to create this optical illusion. For this, you will create an 8 by 8 square. You will need um, a pencil and a ruler. So to start, you are going to use this 8 by 8 tracer. Put it in the center of your paper, hold it with one hand, and trace with the other. This is going to be your starting square. So you have an 8 by 8 square on your paper. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to draw lines. So we're going to draw lines starting up at the top corner. You're going to put your ruler up at the top corner and end on this side. It doesn't really matter how um, wide the space is, but to start, I would probably make it a little bit bigger. So I'm going to start up at the corner. I'm going to draw a line down. Notice how I kept my ruler nice and tight, looked right to the paper. I did not move it. And I have created a line. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my artwork and I'm going to repeat this step. So I'm going to put my ruler in this corner and I'm going to draw a line down to the new line. So I'm going to stop at that new line. And this distance here should be about the same as this distance, distance here. And then I'm going to rotate my paper and repeat the process. Put my ruler up at the top corner and draw a straight line, but stop at that new line. Now here's where it changes a little bit. You're going to find the new corner, the lowest corner. So not the one from the original box, but the newest one. So I'm going to put my ruler up at the corner, put my pencil up at the corner, and draw a line, and I'm going to stop at this line. So you're always starting and stopping at the line that comes first. So again, I have a new corner. I'm putting my ruler at that new corner. I'm going to stop here. Rotating my paper finding the new corner and going to the new line. And you're going to continue this process. Keep going around and around, finding the new corner and drawing a line down. And as you create new sections, the distance here, the width here, should get smaller and smaller. So this one is just a little smaller than that one. And I'm going to continue finding the new corner. It's getting lower and lower. Finding a new corner. And it's going to start to turn. Now I'm going to start making these again a little bit smaller and smaller. So I don't want to have them really wide. New corner here. New corner. You want to go nice and slow so you don't lose track of where you have um, started and what you have drawn. So again, now this is area should be a little bit smaller than this one. And you're going to keep doing this until you cannot go anymore and all you have left is a little box in the center. So I'm starting to close in a little bit here and you can see how my lines, the 
the spaces are getting much smaller here, getting much closer together. And I think I'm gonna do just a couple more and then um, I'm gonna end with a small box. I'm gonna go one more here. And now I have a box and I'm gonna end with my box. So you have your design. You could maybe go one more, but I think that will look nice. The next step is to trace all of your pencil lines with Sharpie. So I might start with the outline. And then before I start tracing any of the other lines. So we want this to really look kind of like a curved line. And so I'm gonna trace that first. So I'm going to start here in this corner and I'm gonna trace it, making it not look like a bunch of little lines, but like one long curved line. Same here, not a bunch of little lines, but one long curved line. One long curved line. And one long curved line. Then what you will do is you will trace all of your other lines until it looks like this. You have traced all of your lines. And then what you will do is you're going to color in every other section. So you can see here, I started all the outside sections are black, and then I do every other. So black, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, all the way to the center. And you could choose to do this with black. However, if you wanna choose another color, you could do all of your lines in another color. I would leave one section white and the other section another color. So you could do blue, white, blue, white, blue, white, red, white, red, white, red, white, so that it really looks like it's kind of going into the middle. So I'll color this section, then I would skip this one white and I would move to this one and then to this one and this one. And you will continue that process until it looks like 